Hi, my name is Tia and welcome to Pia the Movies. I don't really know what comes next, I'm just doing my best. What's up guys? I hope you're well. What have you been doing lately? So tell me. Don't forget to leave a comment down below. For my side, I've been very busy for the last three months, guys. For you guys who doesn't know me, I have a permanent job working in the healthcare sector, guys. It's tough and busy, but you know what? I get some achievement and I love it so much. Now, also, I'm doing reaction to movie and TV series, guys, that you guys speak for me. So I'm very happy for that. But anyway, guys, also, you know, aside from that, normal routines, doing my runs, groceries. Um, spoke to my sister there a while ago, Sister Jane. How are you? Shout out to my niece as well, like Gab and Samantha. They've been very supportive to my YouTube channel, guys. But anyway, guys, I'm here to react about the movie Scam. So check this out, Scam. Now, guys... What I know about this movie is that it is a violent, brutal, borstal survival rules run by institution. So when you said institution could be prison, you know, guys. So if they end up in prison, there could be some criminal activity. Why lead to prison? But anyway, guys, I'm excited and I'm happy to watch this. Now, but before anything else, if you'd like to become a member of my community, please consider clicking the join button, which is just beside the subscribe button. Coming over, coming over, baby. And also, if you like to follow me on social media, please use them. We should be on your screen now. So let's watch the movie Scum. Oh, I recognize him. He's the guy in the kneel by mouth, the younger version of him. Are they going to prison? Out, out, out. Come on, move. Move. Come on, Come on, on the double. It's like a military's run this place. Name and number. 4737 calling, sir. Well, this is the daddy. What do you mean, daddy? You have heard of us, Carly, eh? Yes, sir. And what did you hear? Nothing, sir. Well, of course, he has. he can't say it. Oh no, this trouble. Mm. Oh, this is purely abuse of power. Pick it up. Stand up straight, boy. Name and bastards. Very obvious. They are. They rule that place. Tension. Right, up those stairs. Move! I'll be scared if I'm in that situation. I'm Mr. Sands. This is Mr. Greaves. I'm the senior officer. And I run A-Wing. You guys understood you're the boss. Now, Angel, you're in a single room. Some of the lads here can be what you might call prejudiced. I have a bad feeling that why he's in the single room. Move it! Carlin, you're in a dormitory. Oh no, with population. Oh, this is not great. There's a lad, big lad called Pongo in that bed. He heard you were coming. Then why is he going to be put to Pongo's bed? This is deliberately. Make up your bed pack and put your gear away. On the double! It's like a military run. Not allowed to commit mistake. Otherwise you'll be shot all the time. I don't like this. <laughs> No shoes in the cold weather. Look to your front banks. Carlin's been allocated to your wing. Ooh. Are you in Shut it, Richards. Oh no, there's a target straight away. <laughs> I doubt if he's welcome in that chair. You off your f***ing nut? Possibly. Brushing the feet. Without shoes. How long have you done all together then? 16 months. That's long enough. I don't eat shit for anyone and I don't give a monkeys if I do the full two years. I walk out of here on crutches but they won't have me. What a waste of life. He wants to stay there for long. Davis, up. 
Well, this is the big boss for sure. I'm the daddy. And don't you ever forget it. Right? I said right. Nasty. Nasty man. He wants to make a statement that he's the big boss. Now, when I came here from Dover, that lot thought I was some kind of nut. Violent, psycho, you know? And they don't give me no bother. So I suppose that's what you're gonna do so that they don't give you bother. Carlin, I just want to get through my time in my own little way, causing as much f***ing trouble with the screws as possible. Hope it will work out with you. 16. There's nothing much to do except playing pool and ping pong. So much young boys. I don't know if how do they survive in this place. See how afraid this little man is. Now what is he doing? What is his target? Oh. Oh. Ways in the single room. Oh. <laughs> He's like a punching bag. Sir. Don't give me the boy who did this. Nobody, sir. Fighting? No, sir. Hell? No, sir. Damaging government property, are we, you black? Oh, this is so racist. He's not even fighting. He's been attacked. Well, you take it from me. You go stealing white man's motor cars and you get white man's stick, right? Oh, not sympathy with this as well, this big boss, this head of this uh, prison cell. <laughs> you need to grow up, not to cry, you need to be strong. Uh, besides censoring our mail, you also veto what books are allowed to be sent into us? I do. There's no special treatment for you. I know of vegetarians who don't eat meat, but that doesn't stop them from wearing shoes. Is that all? Yeah, I'm thinking of becoming a Sikh. Good luck for you, boy. I get it. It's boring there. No, oh, don't tell me he'll be attacked. The gun on him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, don't tell me you're gonna have a punch every night there. There's more where that comes from, Carly. You just keep your f***ing mouth closed. You ain't no daddy here. He got the message, so leave him alone. Carlin! Oh, this man again. What happened to your face, Carlin? I fell, sir. Fell where? On the Quiet, speak when I tell you. Somebody hit you, eh? Answer, somebody hit you. No, sir. I, I could understand he'll be get in trouble more if you say the name. Well, move yourself if you like being a gutter snipe. Move! You're a gutter's report. You won't win in this place. You just have to make your time. Injure the pain. 4568 Jackson, sir. Late Jackson. No, there are one surplus in the kitchen, so sent me to you. And get over there and get shoveling. That's part of their job. Bit cold to shovel. Sir. What is it, Angel? Can I go to the toilet, sir? No, you can't. Keep shoveling. There's no mercy at all. You should be humanitarian. Some days I somehow get the strangest notion they're trying to break my spirit. Yeah, well, you're asking for Angel, mate. They're just in control, basically. What do you want? Put him a radio. You can borrow it till we get one sent in. Oh, no, don't. You'll be accused of something for sure. You can let us have it back later if you don't want it. That's a tactical plan. We hope this finds you as it leaves us, Donald. Let us know how you were getting on and be a good lad. Love from mum and dad. Oh, I think he doesn't know how to read. Oh, poor kid. Just read it once more, Ben. I'll give you some sweets on payday. Go on, Ben, please. He missed his mum. Then that's it all about. Dear Donald. Ben. What? You forgot the address. From the very top, Ben. Whose radio is this, Davis? Come on, lad, let's have the truth. You've nicked it, haven't I'm you? Sorry, you Steve. nicked it, lad. I'm so right. Look at that. Eckersley has reported his radio missing, and here it is in your room. You're on Governor's report. This is how, probably, to lengthen the punishment. Oh, nasty. This is how they work. Well, you're going to get it here, mate, and so am I. You just keep your mouth shut and sit for it. You cause trouble and they built the shit out of you. I 
don't know how long you can able to keep quiet. You need to fight back. See if he owes you. Answer the governor. Answer. Denomination Church of England. Yes, sir. Good. Three days in the block. What? That's a lot. It's like extension of punishment. It's not his fault. Except I wasn't fighting. I fell. Wasn't used to the concrete steps. However, I can understand the officer thinking that I had by the state of my face. That's a good excuse, Carly. Three days solitary in the block. Loss of earnings for two weeks. Oh, that's not too bad. But even though it's not a good punishment when it's not your fault. <clears throat> Solitary means isolation. Oh, you'll go crazy with that. Making? Sir. Visitor. At least he has a visitor. What a tip! There's a reason behind that for sure. And there's very stiff penalties for anyone that tries to undercut my rate. You make sure certain parties know that, do they? Oh, even this, they have a business purpose. I'll get 70 pence for equipment the screw, right? Your cut's five pence and mine's 15. What? That's a lot. 50 pence for a quid. Haven't those bastards heard of inflation? You give them that 50 pence. And if they don't like it, they can see me. He's using his power again. I'm granting your request to marry, Betts, and I hope this may induce you to work hard, cooperate, and leave here as soon as possible. At least he got a good favor there. Archer, in. No shoes again. I'm finding myself strongly drawn to Mecca, sir. I think you'll get this. You will see the chaplain tomorrow. I'm an atheist, sir. He's been forced to see the chaplain. There will be no more talk of Mecca in this establishment. Oh, he's losing his patience. Are you rest assured, my beauties, whenever you feel like a break, it's always there. Right, Carlin? Yes, sir. Back to the old room. More tormentation. Here we are again, Daddy, with his gangster. Oh, that nasty, nasty man. Just ignore. Right. What shall we talk about? Any problems? Come along. That's what I'm here for. For sure there's plenty of problems, but they can't say it. Why am I so far from home, Matron? Because you murdered that kid. <laughs> All right, Eckersley. But I'll never get a visitor. Your family doesn't want to see you. And if you behave and apply yourself to your duties willingly, there may be every chance that Her Majesty may consider your release and rehabilitation much earlier than you imagine. Or maybe move to the big prison when you turn 18. Anything else? Keep to yourself, you'll battle out. Is there any chance of you calling us by our Christian names? And uh, now my own feelings on that subject don't enter into it. I'm bound by home office rules as you are. I understand, but sometimes you need to change the rules, regulation. And if any of you have any problems, do not hesitate to come to me. And if I can't help, I know that Mr. Goodyear will. That platform did not able to help at all the kids. <laughs> Oh no, I could see this. This is something gonna be not gonna have a positive impact with him. He's ready to revenge. <laughs> back, Ross! I said, get back, shitty! He deserved that. He's dangerous, actually. They thought they get away from that with him. Oh. He's in control. Who was it, Richard? Who was it? Carlin? The current uh, yes, sir. If you fing slip. Why can they not tell it's Carlin? Don't it, bastard bitch! You let him do you, have you? I slip, sir. <laughs> Slip! Why are they so afraid to say the name? They don't want to become the mole. Carly! Carly! Well, you can't accuse Carly when he's actually that doing. The, the guys did not say it's him. I'm having you, lad. 
You banged that officer at Rowley. And you must be thinking you've walked quietly away from that one. But he's here. He's me. Not nice. It's a revenge from coming from the officer. I'll have you. That's too much personalized. Oh, he's a target. He needs to be careful, Carly. But he's laughing because he get him. Where's Carly? He's the daddy now. He's in control. So I was sticking out in this office. The only thing was I got too ambitious, didn't I? I wasn't satisfied with dipping my fingers into the petty cash for stamps. So you're stealing. This is not going to help you at all. Look what you get into. What was it your first offence? Well, you know my mouth. Gave the judge a bit of lip. <laughs> Didn't know the ropes, did I? Because probably you fight, so there you are. You're there. But Carlin, the gift of leadership entails responsibilities, like setting a good example and keeping order. He's being told to control that place. Just one thing, sir. Yes? I would like a single cell. What? Oh, he's been given a favor. Oh, I hope he'll be good at this. He's given a task. All right, Carlin, but don't push it. If there's any bother, we'll have your bleeding guts, right? Always with a final word, with authority. Rules! No punching in the face, no kicking in the ghoulies, and no biting. I have a feeling it's not gonna end so good. Come on, get out of there, get the ball moving. Come on, boys, let's go! Don't just stare! What is this game? I don't get it. Is it a basketball? Get out of this Get out of him! Oh, they're killing each other now! Is this becoming more physical? A lot of aggression! I told you how Oh my god! Even the preferee punching them. Hi, please check out our channel membership options for exclusive reactions such as the Sebo, Patriot, and more being added every week. It came today. Yes, I know that. Will you read it? Which I have already. Read it again. What is this? This is bad news. Hey, we thought we had better let you know that Candy died last week and we buried her. I'll join. Somebody's pet, dog, Bachi. Just not being sympathetic. Kenny was my nickname for my wife. Oh, see, this is the thing. Be sympathetic. That woman is not even right for this job. That old baldy says to boil a house tomorrow. There'd be a whole crowd of us here shoveling shit. He says just you and him. What? Oh, I have a feeling there's a fight here. He knows! Oh, this corrupt! That's so dark. I don't know. I hope he will keep himself safe. Anybody can attack them there. Where's your toe? What fing toe? Oh. oh, he is the big boss now. Uh, uh. Why he has to be like that? He's ending to become like a manipulative. What legs? Does that mean he's getting out from there? Get the blind. Get the blind. Oh, he's getting married. <laughs> he's the guy is getting married. Why aren't you over there with the rest of them? I'm an atheist. What do you think that lot are? Disciples? That's his religion, so what can you do? No religion at all. Why don't you keep your nose clean and get out? But pass the time quietly. He's doing it right. I could understand it is boring to be stuck in that place. Well, it's impossible. It's not on. How can anyone build a character inside a regime based on deprivation? Exactly! That's the right word! Deprivation! I'm always looking over my shoulder. See, if it's not a screw at me, it's a con. You're being forced to attend the church. You're too old for this, lass. I'll give you that. They should have given you a prison sentence. 
point. That's not rough. That's tough more. Two years of this, love, before I retire. How long are you done? A long time. That's an hefty sentence, Mr. Duke. One way or another in prison. He's just waiting for his boring pension. Outside, out there, you act. You're punished by your own guilt complexes and uh, you're never free. This guy is very talented. I agree with him. I don't wish to underestimate your lifetime's work, but uh, the punitive system does not work. For you, I could understand. For a weekly wage, you have been locking up men and boys for most of your working life. Correct. Who pays for that daily humiliation? The prison. Prisoner. Because they're in control. He gets into his nerves now. I give you my f***ing coffee and you think you can sit there and have the piss out of me? No sir, I didn't. You just lay the reality and he doesn't like that. With men being stripped of their dignity, cons and screws. We aren't much different in here, you know. You get the dig. Stand up straight. He doesn't like being questioned. And he doesn't like reasoning for some reason. And most of the officer would like that, unfortunately. Can you not? Commish floor! Be cleaned! Move yourselves! The floor is being cleaned daily. What else you need? That includes you, Toy. Move, Toy. You'll be punched. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He goes crazy. He wants to die. <laughs> Come on, guys. A bit of dignity and sympathy. How's Mecca these days, Audrey? No further information through as yet, sir. Although I am meditating whenever possible. I see. How can he read? He's not allowed at all. Seven days in the block. Lose one month. For your meditation, Archer. Oh, no. That's not good for the mental health. Seven days of being isolated. He's going dead! He's killed himself in the scrubs! He's dead! Oh, that's not the good news at all. But these things happen, Carlin, as you know. Many boys arrive here in disturbed conditions. It can be avoidable if he had the counseling. I want you to use your influence to keep things down. If you see what I mean. He's being used, basically. What you want? Ah! Oh, oh, oh. Turn him over. Oh, oh. oh no, this is rape. Oh no. <laughs> this is so upsetting. He's only a kid. <laughs> and the old man is not even helping. Right, let's have you! <laughs> Come on outside, you lazy bastards! <laughs> they ignore and they know what's going on. Davis, what are you doing there? What happened? Well, lad? Nothing, sir. You fell, sir. Well, fall back onto your feet. This isn't Kew Gardens, laddie. <laughs> he knew there was something happened. Criminal activity. He's been raped. This is crazy. You're on gardening tomorrow and all. Your name's on the list. I'll see you then. Oh no, he probably hate it now to go back there. What is he thinking? If it's gonna be tormented, I don't want to go back there if I'm in this situation. <laughs> gonna do? Would he help him at all? Or he's been ignored? He'll be ignored for sure again. I feel bad, depressed. I don't know what to do. Cut that out, Davis, or I'll give you something to cry about, you mardy-ass little toe rag. I think I'd better to be in the black. 
in the isolation. I hope he don't do something stupid. In this situation, oh, it's hard. No one will help you, only yourself. Oh no, he's gonna cut himself. Don't. <laughs> I think in any situation, you feel like you're alone, depressed with what happened. It's in a form of abuse. He must be raped. And he ring the bell, he's asking for help, but he can't tell the truth. <laughs> Come on, help! Oh no, he's been ignored! <laughs> he's gonna bleed to death! Davis, you lazy twat, out! Right, Davis, Governor's report. You know what happened to him. Eat! Their all their sentiment is with that person who died. Oh It's horrible. Colin, eat! They're sympathized with their dead friend! <laughs> yeah, they deserve that! <laughs> I get it! It's a total destruction! It's so sad! Now they're being punished! Instead of his, he's going home for, for sure that would be extension for Carly. With regard to our absent friend, I would remind you all that sad and unfortunate accidents occur. No, they're not normal. You can do something about it. There will now be one minute's silent prayer for our departed friend. Guys, that was Scum. So what do you think about the movie? Now... Scum is a 1979 British drama film which is directed by Alan Clark, guys. And the starring of these movies are Ray Winston. He's popular in the Kneel by Mouth movie. We have also Mick Ford. He was popular in the Intellectual Convict Archer. We have also Julian Field. He's popular in Cod File. And we have also John Blandell. He's popular in the Adaptation. Now, the film portrays about the brutality that was happening in the British prison, guys. And the script was originally filmed by a television play for the BBC, Play for Today series in 1977. But, however, due to the violence depicted in this movie, it was withdrawn from the broadcast. So, not nice, you know. A year later, you know, the director of this movie, Alan Clark, and the scriptwriter, they remade its film and it was shown in Channel 4, which is fine. Now, the original TV version was eventually allowed to be aired eight years later in 1991. So, hmm, interesting, right? Now, the movie is about the scum, the young offender, which is Carlin. You know, he was portrayed by Ray Winston. He was very young there. And I didn't even recognize, you know, but I could recognize the voice of him, you know, while he's talking into this film. He arrives at the institution, his rise through violence and self-protection to the top of the inmates. He used this as a pecking order pretty as a tool to survive. So he wants to survive in the prison, so he has to do that, guys. Beyond Carlin individual storyline, of course, the film also serves as an indictment. And it's not nice because it's the prison system, you know. The warders, the convicts are all been brutalized of the experience of the system. The film controversy arose over its graphic depiction of racism. So there is racism there, extreme violence, rape. 
yeah, I was very terrified about the last part of the movie. <sighs> the sadness of rape, the suicide, many fights and very strong language. So, yeah, it's, it, it is hard. I suppose you're the same when you watch this movie, guys. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy watching this with my reaction to my movie, to the movie. Thank you and see you again. I don't really know what comes next. I'm just doing my best, even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I fail so depressed.